So even when we're not on as the main facilitator in a meeting, we can still show up in ways that can best help uh, the sessions we're a part of get to the places that we all hope for. A couple of different concrete ways that this can happen. You as a leader and facilitator already have this larger awareness of airtime. How many folks have already spoken? What folks maybe uh, aren't uh, leaning into the space as much as you hoped? And that's something that you could call out as a participant. Hey, we haven't heard from this side of the room or I'd be curious to hear from some other perspectives here. That's a really key piece. Another key piece as we're always talking about the importance of purpose is you as a participant can really remind the group of the purpose that gathered them there and if that purpose isn't clear you can gently nudge people into that inquiry space to make sure that you gain clarity on that purpose. And there are certainly many ways that we can bring our facilitation skills to bear. Those are two great examples. The main thing we want to make sure is that we're not usurping control. We're not going to overstep boundaries because ultimately there's someone leading the session, they're facilitating, and so we don't want to, to be at odds with our facilitator. We want to be magical meeting participants and supporting in ways that we know how to support.